All right, class, so this is my video for this multi-step synthesis problem. And basically, the, the problem here, the question here is saying, can you make this ketone starting from just N-propyl alcohol as your, your source for carbon? So right away, the first thing I'm going to sort of think about is, well, if this is my source of carbon, then I can sort of imagine that I'm going to break this final product um, into two pieces where one, two, three, these carbons come from one equivalent, and then one, two, three, those carbons come from the other equivalent um, of my n-propyl alcohol. So right away, the first thing I'm sort of, you know, thinking about the notes that I might write to myself, C, C, bond, formation, right? So we need to form a new carbon-carbon bond, and right away, I'm sort of thinking Grignard, right? So Recently, we've been, we've been talking about Grignard reactions, and that's going to be sort of my way to form that you know a new carbon-carbon bond. It's a really great you know a great tool, synthetic synthetic tool that we have. So, in terms of the Grignard, you know I'm not going to worry about how do I get to the pieces that I need, the proper pieces. I'm going to say what are the proper pieces? What are the pieces that I would need to to form this you know six-membered carbon backbone? So if I think about the Grignard. The two pieces that I would want would be magnesium bromide plus this aldehyde, right? So if I put those two things together, I'm going to get a reaction that looks like that. And then I'll get this O minus, this alkoxide, um, you know, six-membered uh, six membered chain and then an O minus up there. So this is very close to my final product. Um, usually what we do in a Grignard is we would then protonate, right? So H2O, um, you could also use dilute acid, H3O+, plus, but something that will protonate. So we get to an alcohol. And now the question is, can we really convert an alcohol into our final product, into a ketone? Is there a way that we know how to do that? And hopefully you're thinking, well, that's an oxidation. And there's really two ways to do an oxidation, chromic acid. Um, or PCC in dichloromethane. So either of those would really work. Uh, chromic acid might be a little faster, but really either one would be totally fine to go from this alcohol to our final ketone product. So that's good. We sort of have the end part figured out. Now the question becomes, how can I turn this starting material into my pieces for my Grignard? So let's sort of explore that. And you know, rather than sort of trying to just think of it, I think what really does help is if I write out OH goes to something, you know, bromine, so my alkyl halide. So the question, how do I do this reaction? How do I turn an alcohol into an alkyl halide? Well, hopefully you guys remember that PBr3 is a great way to do that. So this will do an SN2 attack displacing that leaving group um, to give us this alkyl halide. And then from here, we could just add magnesium. So that would be pretty straightforward. The other piece that we're looking for is an aldehyde. Um, and in this aldehyde case, again, we were talking about earlier, we can use PCC in dichloromethane. In this case, we have to use PCC as opposed to chromic acid because the PCC will stop at the aldehyde. If we used um, chromic acid for this bottom reaction, we would end up with a carboxylic acid because it's a primary alcohol. So I wanna use PCC in dichloromethane. So now we sort of got all the pieces. Um, we could imagine taking this alkyl halide plus magnesium, that's gonna give us our Grignard. Then our Grignard plus our aldehyde will lead us to sort of what we wrote right up here, lead us to this alkoxide, we can protonate that alkoxide. And then the last step to get to our desired ketone product. Again, we can just use PCC in dichloromethane. In this, this case, you could also use chromic acid. That would also be appropriate. But here's our, our full synthesis. Now, the way that I've presented it here, I think is, is totally reasonable if you present it this way um, to me. I'm, I'm completely happy with that. You could also write this out a, a lot nicer, um, but I think what, we, what we're seeing here is totally sufficient um, for a multi-step synthesis.